A Mississippi lawmaker and breast cancer survivor will introduce a legislation to legalize medical marijuana. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris joins us now in the studio with more on this story. And Gerald, I understand this initiative is very personal to the author of the legislation. Yeah, Mel, it is. State Representative Amiria Scott was diagnosed with a severe form of breast cancer in 2017. And through her battle, she realized there may be benefits to medical marijuana. This is absolutely personal for me. On last year, I was diagnosed with a catastrophic uh, uh, breast cancer, triple negative. Representative Scott says she was limited in her treatment options. And while medical marijuana is not legal in Mississippi, she says she's learned from other patients. But I learned a lot from other cancer patients whose state did have uh, medical marijuana and what they were able to avail themselves of. The lawmaker will like to see THC in medical marijuana infused teas, ointments, and oils to help treat the worst of diseases. I don't think there's any person in the state of Mississippi who has not been touched by cancer, Alzheimer's, MS. She plans to introduce a bill in January during the new legislative session. A medical expert at the public hearing cautioned it should only be used in conjunction with the current treatment options. Our medical cannabis will add on to the existing armament that we have as physicians. Um, I don't want to give it undue priority, um, but I think it's a, it's a tool that's not available and, and would be medically useful. Medical marijuana is something that will help in, uh, as another step in that treatment. It is not something that treats the people uh, by itself. It is always in conjunction with other uh, medicines. Representative Scott admits the battle over medical marijuana will be an uphill fight. Department of Public Safety Commissioner Marshall Fisher has come out against it and says there is an active push by a Mississippi organization to introduce a medical marijuana referendum in 2020. Reporting in the studio, Gerald Harris, WJTV 12.